Piling, peeling, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Hey guys, so I've been doing a lot of Lululemon dupe videos and I've never really shown you guys my actual Lululemon collection. So I'm gonna do that for you guys today so you can finally see what I'm working with. I've only bought two pairs brand new and the rest of them I actually got on Facebook Marketplace because my mom taught me her ways and I've actually found really good deals on like OfferUp. There's some on Mercari, they're a bit more expensive there. And then Facebook Marketplace, they all sell Lululemons for way cheaper and you can find some really good ones like essentially brand new so I'll be showing you my whole collection and I also want to mention my sizing so everything that you'll see today is a size 6 and I weigh 135 pounds I know that people my size can usually wear like a 4 or a 6 I've personally never tried on a size 4 in Lululemon I just get size 6 so yeah that is what you'll be seeing today so let's just get right into it so I am starting with my black align Lines, and sorry for all the stuff that's on them. I have worn these so much as I told you um, Yeah, these were in 28 inches and I don't know if these are like ultra high-rise or just high-rise but I noticed that a lot of my leggings fit me kind of differently in terms of high-waisted. So I would say these are really high-rise on me since they go above my belly button, but that's actually what I prefer in terms of high-rise. Like, I don't want my belly button showing. I want it to be super up there. So if I wear a sports bra as a top, it's kind of like not a lot of skin showing still just because my leggings go up super high. But yeah, these brand new are $98 and of course I love them. I mean, what else is there to say? These are the benchmark for all leggings. I love Aligns. I think they're super comfy and I love all the dupes that I've been trying but I don't think anything can like really hit the level of Lululemon. Next up we have another pair of Aligns. So these ones are in what I think is dark olive. There's like so many colors out there, so many different shades and I was trying to do research um, but yeah, I think these are dark olive and I got these in 28 inches again and since I'm relatively short and I learned that 7 8 pants fit full length on me, I actually went and got all of my leggings hemmed except like one pair that you'll see later. But yeah, I got these hemmed and then my last one's hemmed. So that was my second pair that I ever bought and those were $98. And then from here on out, we're just getting into all the deals that I have bought secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. So everything after this, I did not purchase new. Just those first two, the black ones and the dark olive ones are the only ones that I've actually paid full price for. So next I have the chambray, chambray, chambray. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. And I'm not even sure if that's the actual shade of these. Um, I looked on Online and I think that's the closest that I could find to this. It's hard because I got these all secondhand, so I'm not actually sure the original names of their shades. So I tried to just match it up as best as I could. But these are also aligns, and I think they're in chambray. Next we have what I think is heathered black, but I feel like it looks a little bit purpley toned to me. So yeah, for these ones, it's weird because even though I have so many pairs of aligns, I feel like they all are made out of different material. And I don't know if that's just like me or if that's an actual Lululemon thing. But I noticed some of them are more like spandexy material and then like this one feels more, I don't know, like actual like cottony material. I don't, I'm so confused by that. Even the very first pair of black ones I got, they felt like a different material than the replacement pair that I got. So I think it's just like a difference in the years and the formula of the leggings that they make. Um, but yeah, these are definitely more like cottony feeling. Next up, we have this pair that I love so much. And I can't believe I got these for only like $20 off someone. It's just insane to me. These are the Heritage 365 Camo Deep Coal. And these are Aligns, of course. But yeah, that's what their color is. And these have the same material oops, that I'm used to. They're similar to my dark green ones and sort of like my black ones, but a little more like spandexy feeling. I love this pattern because it's black so it goes with mostly everything but it also just has the pattern that just adds a little bit of pizzazz. Next we have what I think are the Wonder Unders but I'm not sure if these are Wonder Unders or Aligns. They are like a lot thicker so I think they're Wonder Unders and I would say they're in 23 inch length but yeah these are a bit shorter than what I'm used to. I usually like a full length 
slash like at my ankle type leggings. But what can I say? These were a good deal and yeah, they fit me nice and snug. So that's this one. Next up, I had to do research on what kind of pants these were, but I am in love with them. So I'm pretty positive these are the on the fly 7 8 pant in Luxtreme. And these are in the color black. I just think that these are super flattering on me. Like they just hug my legs and fit every curve just right but they're also so comfortable like i could just live in these if i didn't have white dogs that shed and get all over my black clothes i would seriously just live in these uh, but yeah definitely recommend and i'm so glad i got a deal on these next we have the on the fly pant with the wide leg and these are woven so these are usually 118 dollars um but i got them off someone for like again 20 dollars. i'm pretty sure everything i got was around 20 bucks i don't know if these are the exact on the fly pants because they do have these pockets in the front that I noticed the on the fly ones don't, but that was the closest thing that I could find um, to these pants. I feel like Lululemon has made so many different products and they just constantly switch them on their website. So it's kind of hard to tell, like if you buy old clothes off someone, like what style it was. Um, but yeah, I did some research and that was the closest thing that I could find. Next we have the Beyond the Studio crop in black. And these ones are usually $118 new and I definitely did not get them for that. Uh, but yeah, these are really comfy be a different style, you know, pants slash jogger than what I'm used to. But I think they're super comfortable and I do wish they were a little bit more high-waisted, but I'm just used to things being super high-waisted. Um, but yeah, I definitely like these ones as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Just wanted to run through my Lululemon collection real quick, just so you guys could actually see like what I own. Um, I definitely need to get more workout tops because I feel like I'm doing all these reviews of like bottoms and now I have so many bottoms that I'm just building up but I don't really have that many cute tops that I can wear so if anyone wants to reach out to me and send me some workout tops that would be great uh but yeah for now that's what I'm working with that's my Lululemon collection like I said I've only bought two pairs for full price and other than that I've just bought them off other people which I definitely recommend, especially if you want the quality of Lululemon, um, but you don't wanna pay the full price like me. It's just, it's something my mom's ingrained in me. I don't think I'll ever really be able to like spend a lot of money on items. Just the fact that I bought two of them full price, that was, that was a shocker for me. I'm surprised I even did that. But that was also when I was like super into the gym and getting my personal trainer certificate. So that that was a different me and I was willing to spend money on good quality leggings. And I still am, but if I can get a deal, why not? And real quick, I just wanted to talk about how I take care of my leggings and how I store them. I know you guys already know about Lululemons and you know, the usual rundown, but I just wanted to explain what I do. So in terms of storing them at I know I've heard people saying that they only store Lululemons and that you're supposed to only store Lululemons with other Lululemons, but I didn't used to do that when I only had like one or two pairs. I was like, what's the point? Like I, what am I gonna do? Like dedicate a whole like drawer just to one pair of Lululemons. But now that I actually have a collection going, I did designate like a whole drawer to just my Lululemon. So, I mean, have I really noticed a difference? No, I never noticed any sort of difference storing them with other leggings. Um, other than that, I do throw them in with the rest of my clothes in the washer. I try to put them in one of those linen bags just so I remember to take it out before I put it in the dryer. I will admit I have dried my black pair a couple times and yeah those are also the pair i wear the most so you do notice some peeling on them even though i did exchange them for the other pair that was peeling these ones still have peeling on it piling peeling i i'm not sure how to pronounce that i feel like it's just kind of inevitable at some point with your lines like you're either gonna wear them a lot or like you're just gonna let them sit and not get peeling on them um but yeah and other than that i know they say that aligns aren't good for like weightlifting um but i'm definitely guilty of using my aligns for weightlifting and i don't own like any other style leggings which i think i have that pair of wonder unders but i'm not exactly sure if they are or if they're aligns but yeah i'm just obsessed with the way that aligns feel and 
I don't know, they're comfy for me and I see so many other girls wearing aligns to, to lift weights with. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and please be sure to subscribe because I am coming out with more Lululemon dupe videos soon. Um, I already got one order in the mail so that's going to be my next video. But yeah, thanks again so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!